Hi, welcome back to Bulgarian Organic Small Holding. It's a Monday. It's some dates in the middle of October. I don't know what date it is and I don't care. And uh, this clip we're going to bake, roast, toast some peppers. So stick with me. Okay, uh, it's now uh, around 16.30 hours, give or take a couple of minutes. Uh, it's a bit overcast now, but uh, still very warm. And as I said, we're going to do something with our the last of our peppers. Uh, we tried drying them in the greenhouse and they started to go a little bit moldy. So Sasha has a plan to do something with them, which I'm not really sure how it works out but anyway I get the good jobs I get to sit and drink a few beers uh, whilst I make a fire and the fire is now ready uh, we'll swing around and uh, try not to get a lot of camera noise ah and also wanted to say I want to take a break a little bit of a break from the playlist on uh, buying property in Bulgaria as I said I wasn't sure if it would work or not at my first to troll bad feedback uh, on that anyway I will upload uh, the film has already been done I will upload different segments of it but this is just a short break uh, and all I want to say is uh, to those of you who complained about the sound on the GoPro when it was inside a room in a house that you know got the message so stop it and then you'll be able to hear me Okay, let's have a swing around. Okay, that's the first uh, bucket of peppers that I have to do something with. As you see, I have my resident piggy porkers around, also dogs, and uh, in the fire pit uh, that I was using uh, when we made the Lutenitzer film, same principle. I'll now uh, put this uh, metal grill over the top and uh, put a metal plate on and uh, we'll do some toasting i don't know if uh, sasha wants to appear in this film or not uh, sometimes she does sometimes she doesn't if she doesn't uh, then i'll just show the process and uh, she won't be in it but you know you can't force people to do things they don't want to do you can lead a horse to water but you cannot make it drink a little bit of a squabble between the porkers okay <laughs> over now for now Okay, so I got my uh, metal frame in place and I got my sheet metal on the top, let it heat up. I'm uh, still waiting for the boss to come with the second bucket of peppers and I'll follow instructions as required. Until then, I don't have anything to report. Uh, if it requires more flame, it's very easy to add uh, more wood to it. I think that uh, there's probably more than enough heat, it depends how quick and uh, how much heat is required. But I mean, you know, it's uh, elementary, elementary Watson can uh, just add, I can see the heat waves going up as it is. So let's wait and see. Okay, over now for now. So I added a bit more wood to the fire as it, uh, a few drops of rain started. So Sasha ran off to get the washing in and I added a bit more wood under the the metal tray, the roasting, toasting tray, whatever you want to call it. And uh, she's now back, sat by me, and sorting out some peppers. And I'll swing around and you'll understand why. So, sorting out a few of these uh, peppers, they're the last of the season. I mean, if we leave them on the, on the plants, uh, they'll start to spoil. It won't be long before we get the first frost, I guess and uh, they're not going to grow any bigger so she's now selecting some from the buckets that uh, at the later in the week she'll make uh, something what we call stuffed peppers i guess it's with rice and uh, yeah some farsh some minced meat and whatever so anyway sasha what's the aim of this because i didn't i've done the fire i put the plate on now i need to clean the peppers from their seeds and uh, after that and the seeds we'll keep because they'll become seeds for planting next year. Or we can give them to the porkers. 
Well, they won't be any good for planting. <laughs> after they come out of their bottoms, I think they'll be finished. Oh, and, uh, porkers are over there, well. by the way. Wait a second, let's have a quick... We have to get the porkers in at every opportunity. They likes being filmed, the porkers does. And there's Malcha lying down there. Anyway, sorry, so you're seeding them and... And uh, after that, uh, we'll roast them. Uh, on this metal tray? Yes. Till, till, till what? Till they turn black or what? Yes, yes. So that fully black? Fully black. So that the next day I can skin them and after that you can uh, freeze them or put them in the jars with some uh, olive oil or vegetable oil and uh, preserve them. If you freeze them, you can use them later in stir fries or in uh, stews or in salads. So this is the aim of the game. So or in the pigs. Or in the pigs. <laughs> yes. Okay. So... You have to, to do, you have to de-seed, de that's a new word I think, de-seeding. Yes. <laughs> uh, the whole bucket before we can put them on the yes. metal plate. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, it won't take long. So... You can help if you want. No. No, <laughs> I, I, my job is watching the fire. And, uh, and I'm, I have my assistant here, Kozel Dark Beer. Okay, we lost a little bit of time. It's now uh, 17, 10 hours, uh, slight sprinkling of rain. And uh, why are you not wearing the gloves? You've got the glove on the left hand and you're putting the heat on with the right hand. Okay, whatever suits you. Fire is uh, quite good underneath there. They're not sizzling, so maybe the plate is not as hot as I thought it was on the edges, but I think it will be in the center. Anyway, as I say, we have plenty of wood. That's not a problem. It's regulating the, the heat. Uh-huh. Where the water comes out, now we know it's hot, it's sizzling. Okay. These dogs have discovered where the walnut tree is down here. It's not a walnut tree that uh, was deliberately planted, it's a self-seeding walnut tree. It's actually giving very good walnuts and the dogs like them. So it's a battle between us and them who gets the best walnuts because they know from their nose which ones are good and which ones are bad. We have to pick them up and shake them to find out whether they're good or bad and then open them. Oi, get your nose off there. It's not yours. It says there could be some. Some barbecue juice on there, there could be. I like being in films, I does. Because I was a film star, I is. I should be in Hollywood, me. Look how pretty I am. I should be in Hollywood, I should be. Okay. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Okay, you get the idea. We'll put the whole bucket full on and uh, we'll sit under our tarp here out of the little bit of few rain spots and uh, monitor from over there and uh, come down and turn them over as required and you said the object the aim of the object is to make the skins black yes yes absolutely so okay that's, uh, it's easier to, to peel them off okay okay like we did with the lucerna before lutinitsa lutinitsa lucerna yeah too many beers perhaps Okay, over now for now. So it's been about uh, 12, 13 minutes since uh, last, I think it was uh, 1710 when I last uh, filmed when I put them on. Have a nice rainfall now. A good fire going down there and uh, Sasha's wearing uh, welding gloves. It's quicker to use gloves than it is to use the tongs. Uh, and they're blackening nicely. Okay, I've added a bit of wood because of the slight draft from the left side over there was not was all moving to the right so I added a bit more wood on the left side so that those on the left end of that tray would get enough heat and uh, yeah well it's working that's Malcho crunching one of the walnuts so before they steal all of the walnuts managed to get a bag off the ground of good ones this is only one of the, this as I said is a self seeding walnut tree there are a few self seeding ones around over there our main one is huge I mean it must have been 
planted 40, 50 years ago next to the house. But again, if we don't uh, go out and collect them, the dogs will certainly take them when they come out for their walk. It's the first thing they do. Pick up a walnut on the way out and pick up another one on the way back in. So, okay. I think you'll get the idea of what we're trying to do here. Uh, they'll go black and uh, we'll transfer them into a, a pot that we brought down over there. And uh, that's the end of the process until they cool off and um, Sasha peels them. Or maybe she'll ask me to do it, but I think I'll find something else to do and not be around. Um, and then they'll go into bags, freezer bags, I mean, yeah. They are called freezer bags, aren't they? Ziploc bags, whatever you want to call. Call them, and they'll be added to uh, borscht, which uh, we will make, or Sasha will make, I will film. What? I don't think they can hear you from over there. You'll get another troll saying that I should speak close to the camera or something, so... That doesn't mean you, Rani, that's not you. Not you, it's somebody else who criticised me. Uh, but okay, that's, you know... That's life, isn't it? When you have freedom of speech and all that. As long as you don't say certain things against certain people, you're free to say what you want. Okay, over and out for now, I think it's probably going to... There's nothing more to film. They're already blackening. The rain is coming down nicely. We needed some rain, but I wasn't expecting it just yet. So it's now 17.30, it gets dark at about 7 to 7.30ish, I can't remember exact time. We're still getting about 11 hours of daylight here in Bulgaria. We've had some great weather for October. Um, you take the rough with the smooth and a bit of rain is not so bad. So over and out for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You know where the wolf head is. It's either down there or it's down there. I do need your subscriptions and I'm very grateful those in the last uh, few weeks who have subscribed. I've added about 100 more or less subscribers in a couple of weeks thanks to Swedish Homestead giving me a, a heads up on his Facebook page. So thank you very much. Over and out for now. Please subscribe. Thank you.